Hello friends and welcome back to this next year's and Strapi tutorial series. So far we have created multiple um, um, endpoints to communicate with our Strapi uh, CMS but to fetch jobs and to fetch both to fetch jobs and to fetch company data and um, if I go to the application the deployed version you can see here that the first thing that the user sees when they land on the application is basically the list of jobs right and obviously we can fairly assume that we will not only have seven jobs indefinitely in the in the in the database right so we'll, we, we will eventually have hundreds if not thousands if not millions of jobs okay and we don't want obviously to display all of them all at once to the user therefore the need for pagination okay so you have different ways of paginating your app you can add pagination um, uh, infinite scrolling pagination like what we have on twitter on instagram basically on all social media you can have um, load more with the button to click and uh, allow the user to load more um, if they need to but still on the same page or you can have um, page pages pagination like like you'll have on on google for example if you search something on google you have the first page of result the second page the third page and so on and so forth okay so you have different ways of pagination now all of these method of paginations under the cover uh use two main mechanism of doing the pagination okay like the actual implementation the, the, those three modes are just display modes how you want to display whatever it is that you're doing the pagination for now <clears throat> when it comes to the actual implementation uh you have two main uh, uh, sc uh school of thoughts you can either paginate by offset offset sorry or you can do the pagination by pages well strapi gives us the ability to do both uh, depending on what we prefer or our uh, application needs uh, we can choose one or the other okay i'm not going to go into too much details as to the difference between these two um, but briefly speaking pagination by offset basically means that um, we are going to start at a given point okay so let's say we have a thousand jobs in our database and we say offset or the starting point uh, is, uh, is 100 it means that we're going to skip the first 99 jobs okay and only after like from the 100 job onward up to the limit which is in this case let's say 25 you're going to fetch the jobs okay so that's pagination by offset so we we we, we, we say let's keep the first um if the, the, the offset is set to 100 let's say we say let's keep the first 99 jobs and uh, from that point onward up to the limit we're going to fetch the jobs whereas for the pages pagination okay we basically say okay we are going to consider that our uh, the, our thousand jobs in the database uh, are virtually separated into pages right and each page has a page size let's say if we give a page size of 100 it means that we have 10 pages of jobs in the database right so the first page of jobs is from job with the id 1 up to job with the id um, um, 100 okay and the second page is the job from id 101 to job one uh, 200 and so on and so forth up to the 10th page that's basically the different modes of pagination so in this video we're going to see how to do the pagination uh, by offset and in the next one we're going to see how Swapi allows us to um, do it uh, by uh, um, pages right and it's very simple actually if you click here uh, it's just a matter of adding the pagination variable to our query string and uh, that's it Right, so we're going to copy this here and where do we need this is namely in the get jobs uh, function so let's go there remember in the first um, few videos we, we did that so let's add now so far it's very dummy it's a very dummy uh, uh, endpoint we are not passing in the query so let's create build a query here yeah. const uh, query equals to us dot stringify very good now we pass in um, the pagination attribute that we have there okay start and limit okay and i think i'm gonna just remove here and to make our function very usable okay we need to make sure that these are coming from the parameters that we fill in okay so start um zero 
default and then limit hundred. Okay, and because these are default values, I'm gonna add like this. Fantastic. I hope you understand this. Basically, we are doing some destructuring. The default value is the empty um, uh, object. Okay, and when we are destructuring, okay, we are passing in uh, start and limit uh, like this. Okay, so now this start and limit are being consumed here uh, zero to hundred. So the offset is basically we are not skipping anything by saying offset zero. It means don't skip anything. Start from the very first one up to the hundred one. Okay, and secondly, obviously we still want to do the um, we want to. First of all, before we even do this, okay, we want to make sure that uh, we are also doing the populate thing like this. So let's add populate. We should add uh, like this. I hope I'm doing it correct. I think cover image is not needed. Very good. And finally, the next thing we want to add, the last thing we want to add is um, that encode. Okay, let's do the encode values true okay i'm gonna add that here i think it's the best place to add it here very good and i think it should um uh, allow us to make a query successfully very good now we have it here let's see uh, how it looks here in the, the data source so get jobs oops get jobs and let's remove this here, like this. Not passing anything as input. It should rely on our default attribute. So here, if I collapse this, you see we are getting all the six jobs, right? So now, if I pass in um, some values here, so if I put in limit to two, well, it's just going to return two jobs, right? Only two collapse you see only two jobs are returned uh and starting from id one okay starts from id one and then id two and so on and so forth but if i do if i do uh, um let's say uh start at two it's going to return id three and four okay so that's what's going to return now id three and four you see that's exactly like i explained offset decides that we're going to skip um, a certain uh, number of jobs and then only consider the subsequent ones up to the limit and that's exactly what's happening here so that's it for uh, offset pagination in the next video we're going to see uh, pagination by pages thank you for watching and i see you there bye